The clip paste board will allow to copy all the notes and the settings of a node into another of the same type. We can access the clip menu with a long press on the sequencer preview here. We can quickly remove all the notes from a clip, or we can directly copy a MIDI clip into the piano roll. As we can see, together with the notes also all the clip informations are copied into the destination note. Or we can very quickly drag a clip into another node. We can also copy clip from one project to another one. Let's go to check the piano roll editing features. We can double tap on the piano roll header to expand it. If we long press on the time bar, we can access the clip menu from here too to select or clear all the notes in the clip if we need to. When a note selection is active, this menu here will appear in the bottom of the screen with additional options to delete. Select and move the notes by one step up or down or by an octave up or down. Here we can enable or disable the note pre-listen. We can also enable or disable the lock to scale feature from here. When disabled, we can insert the notes chromatically. On the contrary, when the lock to scale is enabled, the notes will be inserted according to our project scale. The notes will also be moved locked to the scale that we choose. Sustain pedal can be recorded into piano roll from any external MIDI controller as we can see in this node here. 
This sustain values can also be manually inserted with a double tap in the controller area, or edited with a simple swipe on the sustain values.